Well, an artist by the name of Angel Ortiz is considered by some to be New York City street art royalty. His name may not be as famous as Keith Haring, but the two inspired and supported each other in the 80s. And now Ortiz is getting some of his due with a show of his work at a gallery in Manhattan. Entertainment reporter Sandy Canyon here now with more. Sandy. Dave, this is a story really about justice denied and justice delayed. Keith Haring always acknowledged the contributions of Angel Ortiz. So how come this Latino artist isn't more famous? One reason could be Haring died young when he was just 31 years old back in 1990. And it surely didn't help that since then, Ortiz has been airbrushed out of the Herring story, as I learned during a recent visit to his one-man show in Soho. It is billed as an ode to NYC, art with origins in the graffiti that was once everywhere at a time when the city was still rough around the edges. I will walk everywhere, you know? and just write my name everywhere. It was called tagging and made him famous on the Lower East Side. Well, I lay stand for Little Angel. As you can see, I'm a small person. An aspiring artist named Keith Herring sought out Angel Ortiz, who was just 14 years old. I just started hanging out with him, and we just started painting and painting. And while we was painting, it was 1980. I would show them how to refill the markers, how to spray paint. Together, they created this outfit for Madonna, who was just starting to create a stir. She used to pose like naked, and she used to earn her money like that. Ortiz and Herring formed a true partnership. This is how his, his artwork looked at when I first met him. And then we're looking at a top piece that it has my artwork, and you can see the difference. But following Herring's premature death in 1990, Ortiz's contributions came to be ignored. When people look at my painting, they think of Keith Herring. It's not Keith Herring, it is me. I was the one that taught him all the lines and everything. And how does that make you feel? How does people that, that, that it made me feel that the art world has it wrong. And Angel Ortiz thinks he knows why. I don't think they want a real Puerto Rican up there on the top, you know what I'm saying? Angel told me the art world gets to pick and choose who they want to lionize. Powerful critics determine who gets to be called legendary. Today, this artist, who was once almost forgotten, has finally begun to get his due, with his work now in major museums and a show up at the Chase Contemporary Gallery through June 18th.